Hey, Aquaha Boy Rocks here, and as busy as I've been with other pursuits, it hasn't just been the videos that have gotten neglected, I've neglected things around the place. So one of those things is the rock garden. So I've got a couple of weeks um, that I can focus on some rock stuff. So let's pop out there and see what we can do. So this was my first attempt at a rock garden. I've put it on Instagram in different places a couple of times, but obviously made some mistakes. There's some cool rocks in here. I've got a border around it. Half of it's gravel, half of it's sand. Yeah, should not have done it here under all this foliage. My wife's loquat tree is kind of getting over it. And there's all the, all the rotten fruit and seeds. Got some loquat trees there. This beauty berry here is um, really nice when it blooms. Get all this vine out of it. So, got a plan. I need to start by basically pulling everything out and starting over. I don't think I've got a, another real spot to do this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull everything out and redo it. Kind of like rock hounding in your own backyard. That's a really cool piece from Sucker Creek, piece of jasper. Um, with the rhyolite on the edges, it makes me wonder if it's a really weathered, beat up thunder egg. Got some schist from California. All kinds of good stuff. Thunder egg for geode or something from somewhere or other. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this out. I was using these solid Kentucky, I think they were from geodes for the border all the way around. So I got a whole bunch of them in here. All right, I got the bulk of the rocks out. Time to work on the weeds. Okay, I got most of the weeds and grass pulled out of here. This is a little bit of overkill, but I'm gonna knock some of these loquat limbs back just away from the rock garden, just a little bit. All right, I can probably live with this. I've got these branches here. They're out in front of it. Might actually be kind of cool to have it a little more hidden where you have to step around to see it. The beauty berry is going to stay. Got tons of these little things and now I'm going to get the blower. I don't know how well it'll work, but I'm going to try and just blow all this out of here.
That is better than I expected. Well, there it is after pulling weeds and using the leaf blower again. Some one or two weeds left, but looks way better. Now that looks about like something I'd start putting rocks back in, but this sand was a mistake from day one between the dogs wanting to use it for a sandbox, the weeds, the leaves, in the summertime it turns green from all the rain we get. Um, it's just a bad deal. So most of that's going to come out. Uh, some of this rock's going to come out. I've got a different plan and I need to do something keep all this debris out of it. Okay, still working on the rock garden, so I pulled most of the sand out. I blew all the leaves out last night, but you can tell how much that helped. And I think my next step is I'm going to pull some of the pea gravel from the other areas and kind of fill in the sand bit and then you'll see in a minute the method to my madness all right so here's what I've got going on um, there's all my rocks I pulled out there's about half of the new rock that I bought to put in here so the idea is I've pulled some of the pea gravel out of the back I spread it here on top of where the sand was because I know there's a certain amount of sand still in there and so whatever rock I put down is going to kind of sink down into it. So I wanted it to be the pea gravel and I left one strip of the pea gravel going through so I'm going to fill in with my other rock up here and back in the back so let's get started all right here's what i've done so i've got a mixture of types of rock and sizes so i had to drive a couple hours yesterday to get this this is from turkey it's marketed as royal rainbow rock but it sure Looks like banded rhyolite to me. Maybe it's sandstone. I hadn't done a hardness test on it. Um, so I've got a pea gravel size, which you obviously can't see uh, the banding as much as you can on this size. And then there's my strip of pea gravel that I left, and then another. Uh, the back of the larger gravel. So the idea is I would probably put bigger rocks here and smaller ones on the smaller, but I'll probably mix it up some. So I'm going to give it a, a little bit of time, maybe let it get below 90 degrees before I come out and start arranging these rocks. Maybe do a little weeding, too. Here's my front border of Kentucky geodes. I don't think I'm going to do a border around the back. I've got all of these rocks to put back in here. All right, here's what I've got so far. Some of these are self-collected. Some of them are purchased. I'll probably do a little more rearranging. I don't want to fill it completely in. It's by the minute. These stuff, like, see this? That is destined to be in my rock pile. I won't even be able to pull that out without getting stuff in it. But anyway, I'm waiting on Amazon Prime to bring me something to remedy all of the stuff falling in. 
and it looks like I've got a, a friend already. Scared him off. He'll be back. The lizards love that place. Okay, we'll um, pause it for here, and I'll get back into it after Amazon comes. Okay, Amazon has been here. They brought me this sunshade. When I go do festivals and stuff, I have these um, 10 by 20 canopies, temporary garage setups. And some of the poles had gotten bent on one of them. So I repurposed them. I've got poles in the ground. I've got it kind of cantilevered off the chain link fence back there. And you may be able to see back there, I'm already getting leaves built up that this is catching. So I have to blow them off of here. I've already got some vines I'm going to have to deal with and things, but I think this will help um, keep stuff off the rock garden fairly well. Well, it took me a few months to get around to closing this video out, but here's the rock garden the way it is now. The cover isn't perfect. I get a few leaves in around the edges, get a few little weeds that are hardy and take off in the rocks, and I can pull them out pretty easy. So I've got a mixture of found and purchased material in here, and I'm pretty happy with it. And if you stayed with the video this long, you deserve a little preview of what's to come. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of following along with me, refreshing my rock garden. I will see you next time.